Hey guys, Chaos X Jimothy here, and we're gonna show you some new Call of Duty secrets today. On we're not showing any secrets. We're just gonna talk about what this recent announcement that was released today means for all of us zombies fans who are really excited. Basically, if you don't know, which you probably found out on Twitter, but I'm going to reiterate the news because it's worthwhile. Activision decided instead of going with the status quo method of how they've been releasing Call of Duty iterations in terms of having two developers on a yearly cycle, they opted instead for future development to use three development teams which is a little awkward if you become a fan of one of the series because essentially you have a two-year gap now in between when your favorite Call of Duty uh, series or franchise comes back into, uh, into prominence. In this case, Treyarch, one of my favorite developers, yeah, I, I, I'll admit I love Black Ops 1. That's a very tight game, especially the original maps, not the DLC maps so much, but the original maps were pretty key. I like the interactive features they implemented. It was um, a very enjoyable experience. I got pretty good at that when I was playing it. Um, and that's sort of where I started on YouTube recording that game. Well, before, I was doing Halo before that, but that was my first Call of Duty game, and I really could get into it. And then we move into Modern Warfare 3 territory, and I, I'll admit I enjoyed that game as well for the most part. It was sort of more grindish, if you will, as opposed to how I was enjoying Black Ops 1. Like, um, I could still play Black Ops 1 now and have a fairly fun experience. I would not play Modern Warfare 3 now. I actually gave that game away to a subscriber a few months ago. I think it was a month ago for Christmas. I was just like, he, his name's Jello, please. And he's like, hey, I can't find my Modern Warfare 3 disc. This is going to fucking suck. Now I have to go fucking look for one at like um, GameStop or whatever. And I was just like, you know what? No, you, you've been a subscriber long enough, and I'm not going to play this game. Here you go, and I just mailed it to him with some stickers, which are probably going to be in the works for 100k. What up? Anyway, that's your little shout-out, Jello. Hope you like it. With um, the way things are going, and, and I could... Sorry, I'll backtrack. I could get back into Black Ops 2 as well. The Zombies campaign really... In the end, save that game for me. At least I, I stopped playing multiplayer. I didn't even really put any time in on the new multiplayer maps. I was more focused instead of just solely on multiplayer. Zombies really got a hook into me. And that's totally from only Adam Smith. That guy got me into zombies straight up. And I was just playing it nonstop from winter uh, 2013 till the sort of end of that development cycle when I started school again in September. I'm not too confident in Sledgehammer games and their approach to development. When you take a look at how Infinity Ward and Slash Sledgehammer games handled Modern Warfare 3, there's a stark contrast in how that game's development cycle sort of went. I, I really liked how it came out onto the scene. It was exactly a carbon copy of Modern Warfare 2 with some minor tweaks and and that's a bit problematic in spending sixty dollars for a game which essentially was kind of DLC but I felt like it was still an enjoyable experience somewhat towards the end there the maps didn't really do anything for me I know um, I didn't even download the final map pack I know a lot of youtubers almost all of them did to cover that and I was very adamant about not buying into that final map pack because it didn't excite me. The whole notion of face-off maps was a fucking stupid idea. I love I love the potential that face-off has if done correctly. I mean, it's it can be um, a fairly exciting way if you have a small enough map, but 
those maps and that game type just did not work out too well except for I'll, I'll, I'll give one reservation that that beachfront house map that's a great map for me I love that map I could play that all the time but for the most part the free maps that I saw like the um, the stupid fucking the, the one with the fucking oil ship that was a piece of shit. That map was terrible. You'd spawn and someone would just snipe you. And then you'd spawn again and you'd just get sniped again. That map was broken. And hence why it was free. Similarly, the other free map was just garbage. I had no um, fun or intense moments playing that. It was just to tide me over. And I feel like... When you look at the, some of the other maps too, there's that one other face-off map. I don't know if it's a face-off map, but there's one where you were sort of on like a hillside or some shit, and if you jumped off, then like these bouncing Bettys would auto go off, and that that map just was really poorly made. Like you'd get a little bit of damage by running into barbed wire or some shit, and then you could somehow like mount it and then jump over it I didn't like that map at all and I feel that um, that seemed to be more on the sledgehammer side of things as opposed to the infinity ward development and now I'm not saying I'm not saying that I like infinity ward as a developer or at least its current incarnation of it because when I've played their most recent game that they were solely responsible for and that's Call of Duty Ghosts I have not had um, an enjoyable experience playing COD Ghosts thus far. I'm gonna try to get into it a little more um, as the channel progresses and as you know more DLC comes out. But quite frankly, that game, like it's it's collecting dust right now. I ever since GTA 5 came out, I can't put down GTA 5 and really justify putting ghosts in. Ghosts essentially for me is a game that I could just do fake easter egg stuff in for some cash. <laughs> yeah, that's that's all it, it is to me right now. I'm not I wasn't too happy when I played it for like 2 weeks. I've been a little busy recently, so I haven't had much time to go into Call of Duty Ghosts when GTA is superior gaming experience for me. Outrage thus far experienced, and you can see this because Treyarch's trending on Twitter at the moment uh, comes from public's unanticipation. Is that even a word? Public's disinterest with Sledgehammer games. Uh, their track record hasn't been that great for Call of Duty. It's basically Infinity War Junior. Is from what my understanding is not. Not that it is, but it's just not up there in terms of quality and pushing off Treyarch as um, a primary developer sort of is antagonizing because everyone in the community loves Black Ops, even, either Zombies, which is very profitable and has a loyal fan base, or the Black Ops multiplayer. And they like those games, that franchise, as opposed to um, Ghosts. And they find it maybe on tier or greater than what Modern Warfare became in the end. Which is understandable why people would be skeptical of Sledgehammer. Personally, I view it the same way. You're going to have to prove our perceptions wrong. So the onus is on Sledgehammer to make a great game with the time they've been allotted. Which, uh, if Treyarch can do it, quite frankly with the right creative and technical team I think anything is possible <laughs> if Sledgehammer doesn't after this if, if you have two bad CODs in a row what I would do if I was Activision I would just release the contracts for Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer right there there's no point in continuing franchises with shitty games you, you, in movies if not enough people are buying it that movie's not getting a sequel. Similarly, in games, if you're not hitting your quotas or milestones in an appropriate manner, you wouldn't expect a sequel. You might get a sequel if it was like a cult game, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's a wise move given the sort of downward, slippery, steep slope we've been on lately for the 
past just released COD and what might be in the future. The people I feel most uh, sympathy for would be YouTubers who've been zombie centric. They'll still have custom zombie maps, but the uh, the weight between iterations of official maps is going to be quite the challenge. I think it would drive a lot of YouTubers sort of out of the game, which is unfortunate because having a sort of diverse ecosystem of different YouTubers makes for a better community and ultimately um, more compelling content. So th there's some good in this. You know Treyarch's going to have an epic game when it comes out. I, I could see a lot of potential with zombies now that there's an extra year. I'd like to see optimally more zombies maps released um, on launch day instead of just as DLC. That'd be pretty sick because last time we got well technically we got four but was it really four? It was sort of one big one. Yeah man okay I'm just gonna level. I'm not I'm not excited for the next Call of Duty. I, I'll have to wait to what they're marketing initiatives show us but other than that I'm not I'm it's not capturing my interest I'll stick with GTA 5 for the year if I have to you hear me sledgehammer we'll stick with GTA 5 all right I hope you guys found some insightful opinions from what I had to share uh, this unfortunate news today well it's not bad no because Black Ops 3 will be amazing and maybe sledgehammer Pulls a surprise and makes an epic game as well. Anyway, be sure to hit that like button, share this on your social media platforms, and go ahead and tell Chaos X Silencer it was Sledgehammer Games that was the new developer. Because I know I did in my newest comment. And while you're at it, consider subscribing to youtube.com slash McCallahan Industries. We're on the road to 200,000 subscribers. You can follow me on Twitter at the Jimothy. Next time we find a UFO you can fly in Grand Theft Auto 5.